What's up guys, Connor from Property Vids here. This one is for the real estate video editors. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a day to night transition. So sometimes a place will look beautiful in the daytime and then just look absolutely magnificent at nighttime. So the goal of this is to show our space in the daytime and then transition into what it's gonna look like with a view of that space during the nighttime. So step number one, you have to get your shots. This is pretty self-explanatory. You wanna get the same shot in the daytime as you get in the nighttime. So go ahead and you can mark your spot with a stick or with a rock I'll do sometimes, or you could set up your tripod and add keyframes later on. But for the sake of this tutorial, I got this shot in the daytime with the Ronin and then I went back again at nighttime and completed the same shot. So if we get into our timeline here, you can see I got this shot backing up of the pool in the nighttime and then I got a shot backing up in the daytime. So the first thing you want to do is try and match, try and make the cuts as close as possible. So you can see I'm backing up here and in, and in my foreground you can see the handle going down into the pool. So I'm gonna to try to cut this top clip and line it up almost as identical as I can. Now let's get into this here. So what we're gonna do is go to the beginning of our top clip here and turn the opacity down to something like 20% so we can see through this clip here. And then we're gonna use our position keyframes to try and line this up on top of each other as best as possible and make sure that we're not bleeding our edges at all. So you might have to use the scale keyframe to zoom in. You can do this with your top and bottom clips until you get to the point where you feel they're lined up as best as possible. Okay, so I'm at the point now where I line these keyframes up as close as possible. As you can see here, if I go to the first frame on the top clip, my pole down here going into the pool almost lines up identically. Our roof on top of the house here lines up well. Uh, the swimming pool lines up pretty close. So as long as you line this up as close as possible, it's usually good enough. Okay, now that we have our clips lined up as close that we possibly can, we actually have to do the transition. And the easiest way that I think you can do this transition is to do it through an opacity transition. So what we're going to do is go back to our beginning of the clip on top here and we're actually going to turn this opacity down to 0% and make sure that it makes a keyframe there. Then we're going to skip ahead by 5 frames by hitting shift and over. Now we're going to turn that opacity back up to 100. So if you play the clips back, now you should go from the nighttime shot and smoothly go right in to the daytime shot. We'll play that back full speed. There you go, looks pretty clean. There are a couple other ways you can transition from one clip into the other. The most important thing is lining up the frames and making sure that they're as close to each other as possible. Then you can add whatever type of transition you want in between here. All right, I'm gonna show you one more example of me using this throughout this video here. So as you can see, I already got my clips uh, cut up here. I start at the foyer and then I go around, do a little speed ramp here into the living room and then I set my next clip on top right here right here where it goes from daytime into nighttime so I'm gonna go ahead and line this up again here now as close to each other as I possibly can okay so I think this is pretty good right here I'm gonna do the same thing and add the opacity transition so I'm gonna to go to the front of my top clip we're gonna set that opacity to zero, then we're gonna skip ahead five frames and set the opacity to 100. So again, we have our smooth fade from daytime into nighttime here. And I'm gonna do one more thing just to add a little bit of interest to this. So I'm gonna go here to my effects and then search for crop. Drop that on my top clip. Go to the beginning of the clip again. Then we're gonna set this top keyframe here to 100 and skip ahead five frames and make it zero. So now, give this a little render. So now when I play it, it crops in and it dissolves at the same time. 
So there you have it guys, that is the way that we do our day to night transitions. Like I said, the most important part of it is lining up your clips, making sure that they sit exactly on top of one another. And then you can add whatever transition that you want to in between the clips. So if you found this video helpful, make sure that you give this a like and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos just like this. Thanks guys.